Welcome back to BCU Freshman Class Series, where we'll be teaching you the most important building blocks of ham radio. This freshman series is for those just getting into the hobby for the first time who might not know where to begin. In these videos, we cover broad topics in terms that you can understand so that you can start your ham radio journey on a stable foundation. So are you someone getting into ham radio for the first time and find yourself in need of a radio? There's a lot of options out there from DMR handhelds to tri-band mobiles. Today, we're going to help you figure out which radio is the best fit for you. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more ham radio content that you love. All that being said, let's get started. When looking for a radio to start your ham radio journey, you need to consider these three main points. Purpose, location, and labor. Let's begin with the most obvious one, purpose. You need to ask yourself, what will I be using this radio for? Will you be using it to casually chat with other hands in your downtime? Or do you want to participate in some serious volunteer work? Depending on your answer, the radio you need could be completely different. You should also consider location. Where will you be using your radio? Do you plan on staying at home and building a ham shack headquarters? Or are you planning on traveling with your radio companion? Some radios depend on local repeaters in order to connect to others successfully. So you should also make sure the radio you want will actually work in the area that you want to use it in. Finally, you must consider the amount of labor that you want to put in in order to get your radio in working order. If you're a tech savvy individual or someone who enjoys do-it-yourself hobbies, this might actually be the fun part. Setting up your radio with personalized talk groups, channels, and zones is the primary draw for a lot of hams out there. That being said, what if you aren't very tech savvy or don't want to spend a lot of time configuring your software? If that's the case, you might want to look for a radio that has an easy setup process or find a service that takes care of all that for you before it arrives at your door. So considering all of the above, which radio is right for you? Let's present you with two of our favorite radios that cover a variety of uses. Basically, there's something here for everyone. Before we get into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy our content. It helps a lot. Now let's start with the handhelds. You'll want a handheld radio if you're looking for a casual introduction to DMR, but make sure it's not so primitive that you get bored with it once you figure it out. Essentially, look for a radio that becomes more fun the more you use it. Something with an endless array of features that you can access when you want, but aren't necessarily too confusing to a beginner. Handhelds in general are great because they're so mobile. There are plenty of accessories out there that allow you to comfortably transmit in your car hands-free. For that fun, versatile DMR experience, we recommend the Anytone ATD878UV2 Plus Dual Band DMR Handheld Radio. It's an excellent choice for both pros and beginners because no matter how experienced you are, you'll find something to love about it. Now you might want to look for a mobile radio rather than a handheld if you'll be using your radio primarily while on the road. For that, we recommend the Anytone 578UV3 Plus mobile radio. It's a great choice for hitting repeaters out of your range and reaching more contacts on the road thanks to its 50 watts output power. The 578 is a tri-band DMR and analog radio that's at the top of its class. It also features APRS receive and transmit along with airband receive. That means that you can utilize APRS location data and listen to air traffic control from the comfort of your vehicle. Pretty cool, right? This video should provide you with an idea of where to start looking for your first radio. Whether you want to explore the new world of DMR or have an interest in classic analog radios, you have options, each with their own unique features and benefits. For even more information about the radios and services we have to offer, click the link down below in the description to check out BridgeCom University, our online knowledge base dedicated to teaching you how to become a master ham radio operator from the comfort of your own home. Thanks again for watching. My name is Cody, W3AMG73.